Today's video is all about the fish head. Not only are we gonna be making a fish head soup, also called a fish tea in parts of the Caribbean and Jamaica. I know that's very big in the islands, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make a fish stock. So this is my first time doing both, but I've done my research. I'm confident we are going to make a really good recipe today. And it all starts with the fish head. You know, just like with any recipe, you gotta make sure your proteins are good, intact, cleaned. So with the fish head, what I did is, I fillet these myself and I clean them, but if you guys have a fishmonger or you go to the seafood market, make sure if you wanna make this, you get the gills removed. You do not want the gills or any bloody parts in there. This is very clean, very fresh, and the eyeballs are clear. That's how you know it's good. We actually caught these yesterday. So I'm gonna be making our fish head with two little mutton snapper heads. You guys see all the bones in there, quite a bit of meat. I also went ahead and I took the collars off. So this is the part of the fish between the head and the filet. It would look something like this. So that's where the fish collar is. I removed those. And these also have a ton of meat. And then this is the actual carcass. So where the uh, backbone of the fish lies. So we got two backbones, two collars, two heads. The more rustic, traditional way to make a fish head soup is to throw everything in there together, eat the fish head out of it, you put it in a bowl, you pick the meat apart with your hands or a spoon or whatever to fork. I'm gonna be making a fish stock first, taking the things out, picking the meat apart, and that way we can have a fish stock for future recipes, like in a future video I'm gonna be making a bouillabaisse for the fishing channel. You guys gotta check out, I'm gonna have it linked below. I have some onions, some celery, and some carrot. Now, we're gonna come over here. We got our pot going on medium heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So this is our mirepoix, our combination of onion, uh, carrot, celery, very popular in French cooking and Cajun cooking. But what we're gonna do is we're only gonna be using around half of this because we're gonna use half for our stock and then the other half as fresh vegetables for our fish head soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and add half the onion half of the celery and half of our carrot. I also have some leek cut into half moon shapes. I'm also only gonna do half of this because we just wanna extract the flavors from our veggies for our stock, our fish stock. And then the other half is gonna be used for the actual soup itself. We will cook this for about 10 minutes. Let those veggies sweat out. Then we're gonna add our fish and the rest of our ingredients in. Our vegetables are nice and sweated out, softened up. Now I just have half a cup of white wine we're gonna deglaze with and kinda cook the wine down to about half the volume. A lot of smells going on right now. A lot of good fragrances. See our vegetables and our wine are kinda steaming up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our bones in. So starting with the carcasses, just like that down there, our collars. Which, by the way, this there's still gonna be a ton of meat to pick off of these uh, fish parts, which are gonna be able to go straight into our soup. So as that wine reduces and kind of just steams up our fish, we're gonna let that go for about five minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and add enough water to cover this to create our fish stock. I don't know about you guys, but I get excited over stuff like this, especially trying things that I've never tried before. You guys have literally been asking for a fish head soup type recipe forever, so that's what we're doing. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt just at the beginning here. Once we bring it up to a boil and we got enough liquid in there, we can add the rest of the salt, but you don't wanna oversalt it. Now we're gonna add some peppercorns, black peppercorns, some bay leaves. Two, three, four, that one more, and that is it. Now I'm gonna just add water until we're just covering the fish heads. Okay, another two cups. And by the way, I'm finally gonna start posting these recipes in the description box of the video. So you guys can have it right then and there. Yeah, how do you feel about that, eating the eyeball? Ready, ready, ready? Okay, so just like with uh, chicken soup, beef broth soup, pork soup, when you're boiling those bones, all of that flavor is being extracted out of, the bo out of those bones. And you guys see, look at this beautiful color, a really rich seafood-y flavor broth. It's really good, like seriously so good. 
So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take out all of the bones, the head, the veggies, that I possibly can. I'm gonna put them into here. And like I was telling you, I really respect people in the islands and people in the east, um, people who just use the entire fish. And it's something that I wanna promote more and uh, not get bones all over our counter. Vic, what I was trying to say is I like the aspect of not letting any of the animal go to waste. And there's just so much meat in the fish besides the filet that we often neglect. Like, look at all that. So I'm gonna go ahead, take all this out. So we got the majority of the bones out. Now I got a sieve right there. We're gonna try to strain this so we just get the liquid. So I told you guys that I'm gonna make a boya bays type dish soon here, and that requires a good fish stock. Well, guess what? We got our own homemade fish stock right here. See how that's running clear? We don't have a lot of that stuff floating around. Now I can just kinda go through this all and kinda just get all the fish pieces that you would want in your regular fish soup. And this is actually really hot, but just wanted to show you guys for demonstration purposes. You know, you got all this wonderful meat that you're gonna get out of the head, the throat, the collar, off of the backbone. That's all good white meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down. This guy should be about halfway full when I'm done. The same pot, I got red chili pepper, celery, carrot, leek, onion, and this time we're gonna brown. Brown our vegetables a little bit. a little bit of a higher heat than before. This is the fish stock we made earlier. So we're gonna pour this straight in. I forgot to put in a little garlic while it was sauteing, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. I don't wanna put too much. I'm gonna bring this to a little slow boil, and then we're just gonna simmer it. So check this out, this is all the fish that I extracted from the bones, good amount right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook the soup without the fish, and when I pour everyone's bowl, I'm gonna add a little piece of fish into everyone's bowl. So check it out. This is our beautiful fish head soup, and no, there's no fish head in there, but all of that flavor, all, oh, we're fogging up, aren't we? Mm -hmm. it's getting there. All that flavor, all that rich, deep, fish, seafood flavors in there. We got this beautiful broth. I did want more vegetables. Didn't have that many. So now we're gonna put in some fish. Everyone's gonna get a little bit of fish. And that fish will warm right up. We're gonna just finish it off with a little bit of cilantro. And there we go. So now we got some hungry people ready to test it out. fish head soup and this is not what I was expecting whatsoever. I thought it was going to be really really fishy. I was honestly kind of nervous for it and it's not fishy at all. It just has a beautiful flavor to it. The cilantro on top really complements all the flavors and it's just so so good. Fish head soup made with my very favorite fish, mutton snapper heads. And uh, it tastes like something you'd be served in the finest of restaurants. It's, it's delicious. Definitely sounds like something that would be easy to put your nose up to, but top notch. I think your bowl says it all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you want to talk about flavor? Yeah. Is you... this the fishing channel or the cooking show? This is the cooking show. This is the cooking channel. You guys, I'm telling you right now, if you have never had fish head soup like we never have, you are missing out. I mean, everyone knows what chicken soup tastes like, a beef type uh, broth, pork broth, but fish stock, man, this is some good stuff. You know, it's really light, not overwhelming. You get all the, the beauty and flavors of the vegetables and the cilantro at the end really complements it. I know a couple of people sent in recipes and they said to use scotch bonnet peppers. We're not, I mean, I like heat, but scotch bonnets are pretty hot, so I just went with some red chilies. You get a little bit of the heat in there. All around, really good. 
And I think we all like the aspect of not wasting the fish. We, we're eating the fillets, we ate the carcass to make the soup, and now we got a fish stock for a future dish. So all in all, it's a win-win. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Like it if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in that next video.